Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create um, an organic type growth uh, effect like this one here you can see right there um, very easily in Photoshop just with uh, a very simple action that you can create uh, you can create I just found this technique out I just found out about this technique yesterday um, while on work thinking about a problem came up with this uh, solution but uh, it didn't really help me in the end so I, I thought I'd just share it for you guys to enjoy and experiment with so you can also create stuff like this very easily and you could also just use it uh, vectorize it um, and then maybe use it in an illustration or an artwork or whatever you want to do with it so let's get started so you'll want to create a new document just make it something reasonable. Um, it This technique does require some CPU power. So um, for a nice working result, you should, or just for testing, you should probably just st stick with something not too large. So something around 1000 times 1000 pixel works fine for me. The format really does not matter. Um, grayscale is enough, but if you want to change it later up, uh, change it up later, maybe with some colors, then just huge RGB. It really does not matter what color. Um, so create it. And the first thing you'll need is some kind of... Uh, actually, you don't need anything, but uh, just to have some um, visual reference for what you're doing, you'll just have to make something black on your white canvas. So this case maybe a dot or two is more than enough then you'll need to create your action if uh, your action tab isn't open then just go to windows um, and click on your action button or just hit alt f9 apparently and create your action so name it however you want I just I already have one there so I'll just call it growth2 um, right so then you'll just it it needs to be in one layer so don't make any new layers and then you'll just grab your high pass filter um make it something reasonable so the radius the white radius here you'll see here is the the growth um extension that you'll be getting uh, you'll see later what I'm talking about exactly. It's kind of hard to visualize if you don't know how it looks while it's working. So I think something like this will work fine. So 12.5 with me, but uh, it, will, it will be a little bit different if you choose another pixel sizes or if you have other dot sizes. So just hit OK. The next step would go uh, would be to go to Images, Adjustment adjustments and then to threshold then you'll get this nice black and white result that's fine hit ok and the final step will be to go to filter blur gaussian blur or actually um other blurs might work fine as well you can just try it and experiment with it but i'll just be using gaussian blur for now Again, something reasonable. So if it's too small, the effect won't really work. If it's too large, the effect won't really work. Um, something where you can still see the shapes that you're trying to um, grow out. Um, something like this will work fine with, m with my size. Okay, and then you're done. So now, if you've got that, just hit the stop button. And now you can reset your canvas to m actually create the thing you want to grow it. So uh, just whatever you want, really. I'll just make a nice large X right here. And um, you don't really need to do this, but uh, it's kind of it's a really cool technique if you have uh, something that's on its own layer you can click control and hit on the layer uh, click the layer and you'll get the selection uh, the pixel selection around that layer there right there so now 
you'll just merge your two layers together and then just click on your action that you've created hit on the play button a couple of times and you'll start to see this growing effect right here and if you're happy with um, the look that you're receiving but uh, you want the, the outline to be a little bit more organic as well you can just get rid of your selection by hitting Control or command d hitting the action button a couple more times and if you're happy with this or how it looks at this point then you can sharpen your uh, image just by hitting Control command l to get your levels up adjust your levels to your liking of course you don't have to make it sharp but i think it looks pretty neat like this so something like this will work fine yeah and then you've got your results so now you can uh, get a selection from the the, uh, the black pixels just by using your your magic wand tool for example or any other technique that you know of to get a selection out of your image and then just make a work path and there you go or you can hit and just throw it in illustrator or whatever whatever you prefer right so you can do that so now you've got yourself a really cool asset that you can work with and play with you can also do this with um with 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 other things such as uh, let's get something up here uh, sorry just a moment like a nice skull that I've got of Pixabay so if you've got this same procedure just make the background white merge the two together get the selection beforehand of your object that you're trying to uh, grow together, merge them by hitting Control or Command E, and uh, then just applying this action a couple of times. And as you can see, this image is a little bit larger, so it'll take my PC a little bit longer. But you'll start to see this grow pattern, this this organic growth pattern. Mm. After some time. Uh, if the image is smaller, it will of course take less um, resources and it will go a, little, uh, a lot faster. So j either way, just be patient or just make a smaller document. And you'll get different results with, um, with, with different pixel sizes and with uh, different uh, values for your filters. So just experiment around with it and uh, you can come up with something cool and crazy, I suppose. Yeah, something like this. It looks kind of cool, actually. You can also invert it. Give it a nice edge. There you go. So just play around with it. Have fun. Uh, thank you and good night.